Well, thank you so much. What is that? Stop that. What is that, Alan? What is that? I have no idea, Dave. He won't leave. Steven Tyler. We'll be right back with Jack Hanna, everybody. Now cut that out. Cut that out. Our next guest is the uh, lead singer of Aerosmith, one of the great uh, rock and roll bands in the history of rock and roll music. He's also a new judge on the very popular television program, American Idol. The 10th season premieres Wednesday at 8 p.m. on another network. Here's <laughs> Steven Tyler, everybody. Hello. Are those, are those yes. actual snake uh, pants? I actually got them from Jack, yes, right before I came on. Jack's line of endangered <laughs> species clothing. Uh, uh, happy Martin Luther King Day. I gotta get this so out of the way. Um, Chelsea, Taj, Mia, Liv, Milo, Dad, I love you. We're all here because we're not all there. How you doing? I'm doing great. Did you, did you have a animals when you were a kid? Well, yeah, I grew up in, uh, in New Hampshire mm -hmm. in the summer. Yeah, some people, good. And in the Bronx in the winter, and of course, uh, when I moved from the Bronx to Yonkers, I got myself a pet raccoon. Pet raccoon? Yes. <laughs> Put him on my shoulder, went fishing every day with it, and uh, you know, I'm actually doing a book called Does the Noise in My Head Bother You? Uh -huh. and, um, <laughs> and, and, and in it, I have a conversation with a raccoon about life and times. Uh, so it should be interesting. It's a very small chapter in the book. <laughs> uh, it's, uh, how many times... Uh, well, first of all, tell me how you and uh, Joe Perry uh, met. Ah. Uh, well, we came from the same place, Sunapee, New Hampshire, and we stopped at this, uh, this, uh, this restaurant called The Anchorage. And I was with my band called The Chain Reaction, Hey Guys, a million years ago, and he was making French fries, and it was the best French fries, French fries I'd ever tasted. So I went back to see who it was that made the french fries, and there was Joe. horn rim glasses, hair down to here. Just the kind of guy I wanted for a brother for the rest of my life. Wow. And I got him. Yeah. But uh, <laughs> over the years, the band has come together and broken up, come together and broken up. Am I, am I right? Is that accurate? Well, yeah. You know, yeah. all good marriages have their fights, you know. Mm -hmm. So I look forward to the worst fight, because it's going to come out as the best album and the best tour. It always has. Is, is that really the way it works? Um, yeah. So when In there's this band, yes. When there's contention, when there's friction, when there's animosity, yeah. it, it is channeled to creative success. Yeah, because when we come back together again, we love each other all over again. Mm -hmm. We come to realize what we can do, and it comes. You know, the the good stuff is the uh, is the is the is, is writing and songs. You yeah. know. When you uh, was it 2009 when you fell off the stage, and did the band c come to your aid when you took took a header then or not? Uh, yes and no, but you know, when you fall, make it part of your dance. Yeah. Uh, you know, and I was, uh, you know, it's, it's, I guess it's no, it's no, um, it's not any news here about my uh, drug use and addictions in the past. And, mm -hmm. you know, here I am, you know, 30 years ago, you know, doing Nepalese temple balls and snorting the finest of cocaines, which you would know nothing about. I know you? nothing about a Napoli temple ball. <laughs> I don't. Yes, you do. I do not. I think Jack <laughs> Anna had so, one. We didn't get to see it. <laughs> it's still yes, back did. there in a it was box. sitting right here like this. And so, like, a couple years ago, you know, I was doing Lunesta because I had some problems with my feet. Mm -hmm. Taking is, drugs is and Lunesta that's... good for you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, actually, it isn't, but that's the tip of the iceberg. Yeah. I was snorting that, I fell off the stage. Snorting and... Lunesta? Of course. You said that you get to go to sleep. You're snorting it? Yes, I was. That shows you what kind of a drug addict I was. Whoa. Only the finest for me. Now, it, it, when, you, when you snort it, does it make some sort of... It has a different reaction with the body chemistry than when you swallow it? Ah, uh, David. Yes. <laughs> yes, it does. Okay. Um, All right, I'll you take know, your I, I, I was looking for any excuse to get high. Yeah. You know. Mm -hmm. And, you know, any oddly excuse, enough, I'm any, in this band, Aerosmith. Yeah. Say what? I say not only any excuse, but any way to get high. Yes. Yeah. And I should have been using my band because the band is the strongest drug I've ever had in my body right. and to be a part of. When this curtain goes up and there's 80,000 people out there, it's the biggest rush in the world. Mm. And so, therefore, I have to chase other things. Not anymore. Mm. Well, good for you. Yeah. Good. Glad to hear that. Mm. 
What has been the... Uh, well, when they announced that you were going to be on the American Idol show, I was, I was surprised. I thought, well, that doesn't seem typical of what I know of uh, Stephen... Uh, Tyler, <laughs> Tyler, Tyler, Tyler. T-Y-L-E-R. What, what, what uh, has been the reaction to that? It's been good and bad. You know, it was a risk. It was a day job. It was something to do other than the band. We just did a whirlwind tour. We did South America. We did uh, all of Europe. We did the States. And after that, I just figured, you know, what the heck? I'll give it a try. I like to jump into things that I'm not sure of. Sure. You know, and this has turned out great. It's nothing but great. Uh. Plus, I get to sit next to J-Lo. And, uh, oh. <laughs> but what, what, do your, what do your rock and roll buddies think of this kind of mainstream move? Oh, they're jealous. Are they jealous? Of course, they're jealous. Yeah. Of course they're, any one of them would have taken this job. <laughs> any one of them. And now it's in full swing, you know, mm -hmm. so, uh, so, yeah. Do you have any idea who will win at this early stage of things? I do. She's sitting home, my daughter, Chelsea. No. Um, no, it's, uh, it's one of those things where I've seen 20 that are ridiculously great. Mm -hmm. So great that I'm not sure. You know, at the end, it's not about us. It's about the American public picking. Now, if this uh, show had been around or when you were beginning your career, is it something that you would have wanted to be a part of? To be no, a contestant you, on? You know, we had to play, you know, America, all, every state in America in three years. By, by 74, we would played it three times around. And I always thought that in order to become an American Idol or any kind of idol, you have to pay your dues. But you know, today's a different world. Mm -hmm. And um, they're out there. It's just that, you know, we had to pick through 120,000 right. to find these 20. So I think we're doing all right. You're doing all right. I prefer the process that gave us you to this process. Mm -hmm. I, I think that that legitimizes. And by the time you're ready, you're ready. And we have the, stamp, the honest, legitimate stamp of approval. Three years, you toured every state in the country. Yes. Three different times. And I tend to agree. That's what I want. I tend to agree with you, but you know. <laughs> this way, it's more fun. It's more excruciating. We've got to put them through hell, and they do it, and they come out the, they come out the wormhole looking good. You'll see. Okay. Well, <laughs> I look not, forward to that. I'm in trouble. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Listen, nice to see you again. Thank hey. you very much. Stephen Tyler, right, ladies and gentlemen.